Hi folks, Kate here with Fusion 3, and I've got a few updates on F3 Slicer we want to share with you guys, so let's jump in. First off, we've got a new version of the installer. Uh, this is version 1.0.10. Uh, this version includes a uh, prerequisite. We discovered that a lot of computers don't have installed on it. So if you were unable to get the previous installer to work or it installed and then it wouldn't run, please download this new installer and give that a try. You can find this latest installer on the F3 Slicer page on our website. Just click this button here and it'll download it for you. So the big news we need to share today is we have a updated set of profiles for F3 Slicer. These include uh, machine profiles for the F400. They include updates to um, the profiles for the F410 and Edge. So basically every profile has been touched, every profile has been updated. Now. Uh, as we've launched the software, we of course have had a few teething issues, one of which is the update process is a little bit weird right now, so I'm going to walk you through how to make sure you can download this update correctly. The first thing you're going to do is inside of 3 Slicer, you're going to go to Configuration, you're going to go to Preferences. You need to make sure that this checkbox here, Update Built-in Presets Automatically, make sure that's checked. Uh, on some computers we've discovered that if you tell it to check for updates in the configuration wizard it doesn't apply that setting correctly so this is our way to double check and make sure that's applied correctly click OK and then restart the application once you have the application restarted go to configuration check for configuration updates what you should see is this dialog box it will tell you the new version is 1.0.7 and it gives you a brief summary of what we did um, if you don't see this, wait about five minutes with the application running, just sitting there, give it about five minutes and then try again. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to phone, you know, touch the internet and go back to look at our, our uh, profiles and, and see that there's an update. So click OK. It's going to download that in the background. Now, the next step you need to do is go to Configuration, Configuration Wizard. Click Remove User Profiles. If you have anything you want to keep, you can always get to these uh, later. It doesn't actually delete anything. Click Next. Make sure you have All selected, so you're going to see the F400 show up here in addition to the F410 and the Edge. Click Next. Make sure you click All to select All Profiles. Click Next. Make sure these two boxes are checked. I usually leave this one unchecked, but that's up to you. And then, of course, if you have multiple slicers, associating it with STL files is up to you. And then again, make sure you're in expert mode and click Finish. So what you're going to see over here is now we have three machines in the drop-down. We've got Edge, 0.4.6.8, F400, and then F410. For your F400 and F410s, your material or your filament profiles have been renamed since we're sharing these with the two machines. So you see now it's called F400 F410 ABS instead of just F410 ABS. It's the same profile, works for both machines. So you're going to see all these in the list. And if I toggle over to the F400, you'll see my print settings change, but my material stays the same. Uh, one final caveat, obviously your computer needs to be connected to the internet for this to work, since it is looking on the internet for the update file. If you have a computer that is not allowed to touch the internet, um, there is a way to get the update. Please reach out to us and we can share that with you. It's a little bit involved, so I'm not going to go over it in this video. So that's all I have to cover. Um, of course, reach out to us at the support team if you guys have any questions, and happy printing!